Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to talk the basics about abdominal pain pathways related to obstetrics and gynecology. It's very important to understand the different kind of abdominal pain so that we can reach to a diagnosis. Different abdominal pain behave differently. So we should have the knowledge of neuro neurological pathways, sensation pathways that uh, makes us know uh, what exactly causing the abdominal pain okay now abdominal pain or any pain abdominal pain transmits via two types of nerve fiber that is the first one is unmyelinated c fiber and the second one is myelinated a delta fiber the unmyelinated c fiber is smaller one the diameter of this fiber is smaller one it carries the visceral pain while the myelinated A delta nerve fiber is a larger one and it carries somatic pain. Now what is visceral pain? Visceral pain is a pain that, sense, uh, that can be sensed from peritoneum. Which peritoneum? Visceral peritoneum. Viscera, uh, mesentery, muscle, periosteum or these kind of structures visceral pain typically is dull cramping either burning poorly localized with gradual onset and longer duration this kind of pain is called visceral pain this pain fiber transmits to the both side of the spinal cord that's why it is felt in midline just same as when you hear in the headphone, you feel that the music coming from the center of your head. The similar thing happens in this phenomenon in which you will find that the pain coming in the mid from the midline, like epigastrium, periumbilical, hypogastrium, like that. Not lateralized, it is centralized. Why this visceral pain is poorly localized? Because the pain receptors are not in many numbers per area and they are not unisegmented that means the pain fibers goes into different kind different different spinal uh, segments so it's very uh, difficult to localize uh, to brain to have that particular pain like that happens in skin moving some posture the pain might decrease so this if you see this kind of patient they, they they just get some some of the positions to relieve from pain okay now this pain is because of scratching so whenever the viscera uh, scratch is happen or stretch is happen at that time the pain will happen stretching okay and not cutting if you cut the viscera, you will not feel any pain. But if you stretch the viscera, you will definitely feel a pain. Okay. So here is a picture which shows that in number one, see you can see easy upper GIT that means upper gastrointestinal system which contains the liver, uh, the stomach and jejunum like that. So uh, these particular pathways have pain in the epigastric area number two which is the small intestine uh, which typically fails in this peri umbilical pathway and the third one is here you can see here the larger intestine the uterus the urinary bladder with this kind of pain felt at here the hypogastrium area these are the different kind of uh, organs having pathways to the spinal cord. Just concentrate here. The reproductive pathway follows to either pelvic nerve or inferior mesenteric ganglion to the spinal cord L1. Remember L1. It reaches up to T10. Now let's discuss somatic pain. What is somatic pain? Somatic pain transferred by, as we have discussed already, A delta fibers. It is more intense one, sharp, sudden and precisely localized like skin, muscle and parietal peritoneum. Okay, 
Now another type of pain is referred pain where the pain is felt as somewhere else from the real location of problem. Okay, now let's discuss about female reproductive system in pain. The female reproductive system is basically nothing but the viscera, the uterus, the vagina, the cervix, the fallopian tubes, the ovary, the adnexa, broad ligament, everything is considered as a viscera. And anything in any problem in this particular system causes visceral pain. So this visceral pain is not very localized, not sharp, just generalized abdominal pain, lower abdominal pain in hypogastrium. Like when the uterus get contractions either in the labor or whenever like in menstruation normally there is a stretching effect is there and that's why you get a pain. The tubes, whenever the tubes are distended like in ectopic pregnancy and it will disturb the mesentery, broad ligament and this will cause the, your pain. The ovary, the sensation also goes through. Uh, pelvic plexus so it will also cause the wage abdominal pain whenever this particular structures the problem goes or passes through passes to the parietal peritoneum because parietal peritoneum is in contact with this particular organs so once the pain or once the problem once the inflammation passes to the parietal peritoneum at that time you will get the localized sharp somatic pain okay now see here now you must see the levels of pain for example uterus the level of spinal cord sensation is t10 to l1 while the cervix is s2 to s4 so whenever cervix dilation is happening the pain will felt as the back pain Okay, when, when the patient comes to you and tells you that she is having a problem of bleeding and back pain, just try to imagine that the patient's cervix can be uh, under the process of dilation. So it may be a premature delivery, it may be an abortion process. So you have to uh, look like this way. Uh, whenever the patient comes to you with abdominal pain, remember in offsetting gynecology, almost every patient comes to you with abdominal pain. So you have to uh, see the other symptoms, you have to um, uh, manage or process in your mind that how this pain uh, can be, uh, you can reach up to a certain, certain uh, diagnosis. Okay, now this was all about the basic uh, physiology of pain. In next video we will discuss different kind of uh, differential diagnosis of pain and how to uh, how to uh, uh, pass through a particular investigation protocol we will discuss in upcoming videos for now this is only thank you friends